You can see now that things are looking a bit different. We've got the ES2, and this is the big brother of the ES1. It's a much more capable synthesizer, and we're gonna be using this for the following examples. Now, this has quite a steep learning curve, okay? So don't expect to learn everything here in this lesson. Um, we're gonna take you on a tour around some of the parameters, and then you know, feel free to explore some others once you become more confident. Now, to start off with, I'm gonna drop down the setting menu, and I'm gonna come down to Tutorial Settings, analog saw in it which stands for initialized and this is a really good starting point when you're working with sound because it's wiped the slate clean and you can start again so what i'm going to do is just play the notes there you can hear the sawtooth we're going to create a two oscillator patch so i'm going to turn on oscillator two you can see this opens up now and i'm going to blend the mixer so that it's 50 percent of oscillator one and two but what i need to do is to change the tuning so i'm going to lift this up and we've got five semitones higher on oscillator two. So it's a very classic flavor. Yeah, we used to call it fifths. So it's five semitones up. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna bring the filter along now. So see over here, we've got the filter set 12 dB. I'm gonna take it to 24 dB per octave, which is a steeper slope. It's a stronger filter. Let's bring this down. It's actually working into quite a nice sound. It's quite versatile. It's almost something that could be used as a stab as well. But we're gonna turn it into a lead. What's happening is, is that the filter frequency is coming down pretty quickly. And that's on the uh, decay here. I'll show you. If I take this longer, can you hear that fall down? So the aim here is to design it so that it's got, actually, on the long notes that we hold down, we can still hear some sound. Can you hear that? So we've got a nice bite at the beginning of the sound and we still hear the note. So what I'm gonna do now is also make it a little bit more like that old school. I'm gonna turn on unison. Can you hear how it's fatter? And the other thing I'm gonna do is turn on the gato. Now what this does is that it means that if you hold down a key and you keep it held down, then push another, it's not going to re-trigger the envelope from the beginning. It's just gonna play it wherever it was at that time. So this makes things really interesting, especially if we reduce the voices down to one. So have a listen to this. I'll play a couple of notes. Can you hear that what's happening is that the note is changing, but we're not hearing the bite of the filter again. I'll take it lower. Get some really interesting flavor by doing that. So it makes it much more like a classic analog synth patch. So we'll save that. So I'm gonna drop down and I'm gonna call this, so save setting, I'm gonna say fifths lead. In fact, you know, I'm gonna follow what's been going on with these previous ones. So lead underscore fifths. And you know, you can decide on your own convention, but it does make sense that you can see exactly what's going on here. So I'm gonna save that. So lead fifths and we'll work on another example on the next video.